Okay, so this time we'll be discussing Chapter 7, which is entitled Network, Internet, and Internet Protocols. Okay, so after this, you should be able to define computer networking and its purpose, identify networking devices, define terms related to the internet, discuss the concepts of internet technologies, demonstrate how computers are connected to the internet, discuss and apply internet etiquette, and demonstrate the ability to use electronic mail, and demonstrate the ability to download a variety of resources from the internet. So um, if you would observe, this objectives is actually for face-to-face -face outcomes. No, but we could also apply this one even though we are in a distance learning mode, if and only if you would practice okay everything in our lectures in our demonstrations okay and i am hoping that you would do okay so that you would finish this subject um acquiring all those knowledge and skills okay so let's start with the definition of computer networks Okay, so it's here, a computer network is a collection of computers and devices connected together via communication devices and transmission media. Okay, so for example, it may connect computers, printers, and scanners. Okay, so to make it uh, more understandable, let's have, for example, you are in our computer laboratory. Okay, so there we have different computer units. Okay, so all of you, for example, are there having each okay, computer unit. So those computer units that you will be using are called clients. Okay, and the one I will be using is called server. So it is actually an architecture of computer network, which is called client or server client architecture so you will uh, or we will be discussing it later and then i'll just give it as an example we're in we okay could communicate to each other using those units even if we don't have an internet connection as long as we are connected to a network okay so that is the mean of computer networks if we are connected to the same network then we could be able to um, communicate with each other and even share resources such as printers and scanners so say for example if we're connected to a certain network if kuya balbin is about to print a document and the printer is installed only in the server so it's in me okay it's in my place then what shall kuya jeffrey do okay um one thing to do is that he might get the printer from me so bubuhatin pa niya yon ipupunta pa niya sa unit niya iko-connect niya yung cable so he could be able to print what if si kuya lemo naman ang gusto mag-print eh napakalayo ng distance so dun sa likod si kuya balbin Nasa harap si Kuya Lemo, so bubuhati na naman yung printer. Okay? So, ang magiging risk dyan is that mabagal ang proseso at maaari pang masira yung printer natin. Okay? Thanks to the computer network, the, if we are connected, um, say for example, it's just installed in the server, which the computer that I am using, then uh, you would be able okay, to print your documents without getting the printer to be connected to your computer okay um i'll just give the service okay for the clients to uh print over the network okay so that is one of the uses of computer networks okay so it's here the needs for computer networks number one information exchange and second is resource sharing Okay, 
And then we have the different network architecture. Um, actually, the network architectures presented here, okay, is just the basic architectures. So when you get to your subject about um, networking, okay, uh, you would learn more architecture of computer network. Like there are a lot of topologies like bus topology, star topology. So all of those will be linked once you get to that subject. So for now, it is just a chapter in our uh, subject. So I'll be giving you the basics, okay, about computer networks. So we have the first network architecture client server wherein I've already told you earlier, the relationship of client server um, network architecture is that the server is the center of the services. Okay? And you could only connect to that server. The server could only give you services if and only if you are connected to the same network. Okay. And then we have here second network architecture, which is peer-to-peer -peer, okay, or one-to-one. -one. Wherein, as you can see here in the uh, figure, we have four computer units wherein they are connected. Okay, via cable can be okay, and then with that, if they are connected through LAN or local area network using those cables, then each unit can be or can or yeah are able to communicate or exchange information and also share resources such as printers, scanners. Okay, and can even share folders, files, like that. Okay, so let's have the advantages of networking to be read by Ate Manuel Frances. Net. Wait, let Okay. Network architecture mom or wait the advantages of networking advantage of networking facility of technical support because of having computer networking a person sitting in the united states of america provides technical support to a person sitting in a remote 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 part of india easy sharing of data with the help of networking, it is very simple to share all formats of digital data from one computer system to another, irrespective of their geographic location. Easy sharing of hardware resource. With the help of networking, it has now become very simple to share the expensive resources, including storage space, processor, fax, etc. Essay sharing software. Okay. Ate Manuel, thank you. Okay, so I think Ate Manuel is in the module, right? So very good. Okay, but let's uh, let me explain first the first three advantages of networking in our slide. Thank you so much, Ate Frances. Okay, so easy sharing of data and easy sharing of hardware resources has been elaborated earlier from the previous. Uh, slide. So let's focus now on the facility of technical support. So it says there, okay, what if, for example, the Indian developer, okay, have implemented a system, okay, in the United States of America. Now, what if there is a problem, okay, in that system and the Indian developer is not in United States of America. How does or how will the developer respond to that problem? Okay, maybe some would think the Indian developer shall go and travel, okay, to get there in the United States of America to respond on the problem. But thanks for the networking or the computer networks, the Indian developer can respond immediately in the problem without even going there physically, okay, in the system. Okay, so the Indian developer can manipulate, can resolve the bug, okay, the problem in the system 
implemented in the United States of America without his physical presence. Okay, so now let's continue. Another three advantages of networking to be read by Kuya Henry A. Slemu. Easy sharing software. Through the networking system, it is easy to share and install the software from one computer system to another computer system. Easy to decentralize data processing. Through the networking system, it is very simple to decentralize the data processing system. It ultimately helps to control, secure, and manage the important data. Okay, thank you for your lemu. Henry, okay, so we have here another three advantages of networking. is the sharing of software, easy to decentralize data processing, and easy to communicate because we are already connected to a network. Ibig sabihin, we are able, okay, to work on a certain system connected also in a certain network that we are, okay, both connected to. Okay, so say for example, and it's a sharing software um, in a computer laboratory. So if you are about, or yeah, if you are uh, if you are required to have a certain software and you don't have an installer, okay, what if only two of you has the installer? So how are you going to get that installer and install it in your own computer? So one thing um, applicable maybe. You would get a flash drive and copy the executable file and then put it on your computer and then install it. So there would be risks in there. Say, for example, copying also of the viruses or malware, okay, that is in the source. Okay, but thanks again to networking, okay, the server might have it and be able to put the installer on a shared folder and then have the services um, on wherein the clients will be able to open that folder and will be able to download the executable file in that folder, okay? So if we have advantages of networking, we also have disadvantages of networking to be read by Kuya Jeffrey Balbin. Bob. Okay. Disadvantages of networking. Purchasing the network coupling and file servers can be expensive. Managing a large network is complicated, requires training and a network manager manage it's to be employed. If the file servers break down, it might still work if it is one on a separate server. The computers can be can still be used but are isolated viruses can spread to other computers throughout a computer network there is a danger of hacking particularly with the with a wide area network security procedures are needed to prevent such abuse like a firewall okay thank you kuya jeffrey balbin so the disadvantages could only be a disadvantage okay if uh, we don't have the measures to respond to that for us to be able not to have those disadvantages. So say, for example, we've already discussed from chapter six, okay, the possible attacks that could happen over a network. Say, for example, an eavesdropper. So if our computer security is very weak, then we could really be attacked by an eavesdropper. Okay, so if our computers are vulnerable in malwares, then we could really be easily attacked by malware. Okay, so it really depends on the measures that we'll be applying on our system, okay, to um, for us to commit this disadvantages, okay? Uh, but again, uh, disadvantages could only work in our uh, computer system if and only if we have system vulnerabilities, okay? And um, about the being expensive, of course, an organization could really have a high cost in uh, implementing a network, 
Okay, so there might be a need to buy a uh, large um, cables. Okay, so it could cost them a high amount. Also, the different devices to be used. We have the switches, the routers. Okay, and of course, the internet service provider. If the organization wanted to have a wireless connection also. Okay, aside, aside from the LAN connection. Okay. Okay, so we have here the network devices. One is modem. It is a device that enables a computer to send or receive data over telephone or cable lines. Okay, so the cable lines that are connected to our modem, modem. Okay, so if uh, a cable is attached in our modem, okay, so if you have observed from the figure, the upper line there for the digital data waveform, okay, our data, okay, um, if it's in the system, if it's in the computer, it's called data, but once it goes through a network, it is called packets, okay, take note of that, it is called packets and those packets goes through the modem um, by okay so first digital data waveform sha okay from the upper line here and then the second line analog data waveform once the data became a packet and goes through the cable it became an analog data waveform why because kasama na dyan si electricity na maghahatid Okay, nung packets, nung data mo, papunta dun sa receiver. Okay, so from digital data waveform, it became an analog data waveform. And once the data or the packets goes um, to the receiver, then the waveform will be again converted into a digital data waveform. Okay, take note of that. Second, we have here the RJ45 connector or called registered jack 45 okay it is an eight pin jack so the rj45 here is the clear um connector as you can see the red one is a cable and the wires there with different colors are from the cable okay so the those wires are from the cable the rj45 there is the clear one Okay, so we are attaching that RJ45 connector to the cable for, okay, uh, it is now to be called a LAN cable. And that LAN cable will only be connected to our computing devices if and only if it has an RJ45 connector. Okay. So we have here Ethernet card. Okay, so we already had an... Um, LAN cable. So we had the cable there, the red cable that has a RJ45. Okay, and then that cable will be connected to the Ethernet card. So from uh, chapter two, we have known Ethernet card as network interface card. Okay, and it is used for computers to get connected to an Ethernet LAN. Okay. And next device is the router, typically connected to at least two LANs and the internet service provider. And it is also called as repeater. Okay, to understand this one, say for example, Ate Manuel has purchased um, a PLDT internet service Okay, so PLDT, that PLDT has a modem. So let's imagine, okay, those who has it, okay, or, or any internet service provider like the Bongao cable there or the Globe, anything. So let's just have PLDT as an, as an example. So Ate Manuel purchased it. So the modem is in there. The modem is also connected to the main cable, okay. And then, what if Kuya Jeffrey, uh, Kuya Lemu, and Kuya Jacinto wanted to connect, okay, to um, Ate Manuel? 
okay, to the network of Ate Manuel. So if Jeffrey and Lemu is just near the house of Ate Manuel, then wireless connection is possible. Okay, what if Jacinto wanted to connect also and his house is uh, out of range, okay, out of range of what the network occupies. Okay, so yung occupation ni PLDT hanggang doon lang sa bahay ni Kuya Lemu. Anong gagawin ngayon ni Kuya Jacinto? Eh, magbabuso din naman niyang mag-purchase. I mean, gusto niyang makikonect at magbabayad na lang siya. Okay, so one tip to do is that bibili si Kuya Jacinto ng router and then yung router na yan, dapat magkikreate din si Kuya Jacinto ng isang cable, LAN cable na kung saan i-a-attach. Okay, yung one end point doon sa modem ni Ate Manuel and then yung one end point doon sa router ni Kuya Jacinto. And then with that, Kuya Jacinto will now be able to get connected, okay, get connected to the internet service provider PLDT. Next is we have switch. It connects other devices to internet or to ethernet networks through twisted pair cables and uses packet switching to receive, store, and forward data packets. So take note ha, packets are the data, okay, na nagpapas through doon sa ating mga cables and the devices such as the switch, the router, and the modem. Okay, so bakit at kailan natin kakailanganin ang switch? So say for example in our school, diba? what if we only have uh, or we should have one network connection that are the same? Okay, I mean the building 1, building 2, building 3, so from left to right, sa harap hanggang dun sa likod, should have a connection. Okay, na kung saan dapat iisang network connection lang sila um, nakakonek. Okay, so they could be able to communicate without an internet connection. Okay, so that is possible if and only if we have a switch device. Wherein yung mga routers natin, so alam na natin from modem, okay, napunta kay router, itong mga routers na to, they could um, be connected to a switch. Kasi kung walang switch, kung iisang router lang, onti lang ang connection na maaring uh, maganap. Or, um, yeah. So, there are only few possible connections doon sa router. But if we have switch, then we could have um, a lot more connection. Okay? So, ilalagay natin, i-coconnect natin lahat yung ating router doon sa switch. Then, there, that is the time we're in. Um, different buildings will be able to communicate with each other. Say, for example, there is one system, okay, na offline, uh, pero you could get services from it or you could uh, input data for it even if you are not physically there, okay, then you would need a switch to get connected. And next, we have a gateway. It is a network device used to connect two or more dissimilar networks. So if we say dissimilar networks, it is or uh, those are protocols or those are services that uses different protocols. So based on the figure, okay, so we have here server, server 1 and server 2. So they have different DNS or IP address. Okay, and then the second one also has a different um, IP, IP address. So the clients of those or of each server will not be able to communicate from each other, not un, um, unless they are connected over an internet connection. Okay, so say for example, it's just on LAN, it's just a LAN connection, local air network connection. Okay, what are the possibility that the clients from server 1 can be able to communicate to the clients of server 2. Okay, that is also possible if and only if they are both connected to one gateway. Okay, so kung baga yun yung pinaka server na nung dalawang server. Okay, for them to have a 
connection. And next we have Wi-Fi card or wireless fidelity. Okay, so say for example, it um, it has an internet service provider um, connected doon sa ating gateway. So through internet connection, we could have a Wi-Fi connection or wireless connection. Okay? Okay, so we have here different computer networking terminologies. So we have the first four to be read by Kuya John. Computer networking terminologies. WAN or WAN, wide area networks. LAN, local area networks. Internet, connects the computers of the world. Internet, a closed room computer network system, covers a small area, only authorized people can access it. Okay, thank you, Kuya John. So we have here one and LAN. So let's take first the LAN. It is the local area network wherein we could intranet. We're in a closed room computer network system and it covers also a small area and only authorized people can access it. So in LAN, okay, local air network only um, a limited distance range, okay, are able to be connected through LAN. So maliit lang ang sakop niyang distance. Okay, so say for example, dun sa school, hanggang doon lang. Unless, okay, you would like to provide a very uh, mahabang dito, cables para makakonect pa yung building from uh, anywhere else. Okay, pero hindi na magiging, I mean, it is still possible, but there is technology na that could be an alternative for that. Okay, because we have here one, which is a wide area networks. So in one, we can adopt internet connection. Where in internet, it says here, connects the computers of the world. Okay, so if we are connected to an internet, so we could say it is wide area network architecture. Okay, kasi malawakan na ang sakop ng wide nga eh, wide area network. Okay, so we have the next terminologies to be read by. Okay, let's have Aguilar Shikaina. Um, okay. Computer networking terminologies. Extranet, a sort of internet access but only granted to few. World Wide Web, service, service to view and search contents. Instance messaging, facilitate as to chat or talk. Podcast, a file that normally contains audio or video record. Okay, thank you, Ate Shikaina. So, I am, you already know that. Podcast, you already know that. So, those are used, okay, as technologies to exchange information or also chat or talk. Okay, so we have here extranet. It's between the internet and the uh, intranet. Okay, wherein it is a sort of internet access but only granted to few users. And we have here the triple W or World Wide Web, wherein it is used to serve, to view, and search contents. So yung Facebook.com, it is a triple W services. And every page, every click natin doon, direct tayo sa ibang page, natin doon is web pages. Take note. Ang tawag natin sa every page is web. So say for example, in this slide, kunwari lang ha, pipindutin ko sa si extranet tapos maililipat ka sa ibang page. Okay? So ibig sabihin, itong network device slide na to is a web page and another web page, itong content na to, computer networking terminologies. Okay? And okay, we have another one. To be read by Aguinaldo Kaila. Ma'am. Oh. Social networking websites, chat rooms, download, upload, and dial. Oh. Okay, thank you, Ate Kaila. So, using computer networks, we could be able to call um, our loved ones. So, dial up. Okay, anong network tayo connected if... Can you give me an example of a network 
na pwede natin gamitin para makatawag mga loved ones, anyone? An example of a network, which is actually a one. Mm, meron ba? Using a satellite also can be. Anong networks ang ginagamit ninyo kapag kayo tumatawag using your phone? Mama Globe. Okay, very good. Globe is considered as a computer network. Who's that? Ma'am, Miss Batong, ma'am. Okay, si Ate Batong. So, I'll give her five points for the recitation. Okay. So, yan. So, we have chat rooms. So, alam nyo na yan. So, messenger chat. Okay. Uh, I am also. And then, with the use of computer technologies, I mean, computer network technologies, you are able to download files, executable files, music, and many more. And also, you could be able to upload your files. So say, for example, you wanted to pass a an assignment, okay? Then you could only do that with the upload feature of um, the triple double, okay? With the use also of the computer network. And then we have the social networking website. So there is facebook.com, google.com, or, or Google services. Okay, so yun yung social networking websites.